Hey guys, US Minuteman here. Um, as I'm getting back into these videos, um, I wanted to start off with a topic that is uh, kind of a, a gray area amongst gun owners and anti-gun uh, uh, people as well. Um, and that topic is background checks. Background checks on the surface sound good. You know, you want people to be checked to make sure that they're not a felon, that they're not a criminal who's trying to get a firearm. But, but the background checks are not a perfect system, and they never will be. When you do, relate them to mass shooters, all the mass shooters, the mass murderers, mass killers, they all pass a background check. Look at the recent shooting here in Unqua Community College in Roseburg, Oregon, my home state. He passed a background check. He had like 13 guns, 6 with him, 5 handguns, and 1 long gun. All of them pass background check. So when you look at these things, background checks aren't really working for mass shooters. And the thought of doing background checks is the knee-jerk reaction to all these mass killers. Look at Newtown. His mother legally purchased these guns, passed background checks. No flags there. He took them from her, her safe or wherever she had them. Also look at Aurora. That perpetrator also purchases his guns legally as well. And there's some confusion to where he may have been mentally ill, may have seen a therapist, and may have actually been overlooked by police when that therapist called the police and said he is unfit and possibly a danger to himself or another. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but if that is true, then the next background check failed because the police didn't do their job. Now look at Virginia Tech. The perpetrator there was mentally ill, was seen by a psychiatrist as uh, unfit, and he was adjudicated. He should not have passed a background check, but he did. What does that tell you? That means that the system is failing. It's not catching these people. Now. We don't know if, if the background checks had caught him. Could he have found another way? Yes. He absolutely could have. So maybe it would have curved it. Maybe it just would have been perpetrated in a different way. Or maybe he would have gotten the firearms in a different way. We don't know. Unfortunately, the point is, the Knicks background checks failed that day. You can also look at something like Columbine and the other shooters. They all pass background checks. Now one shooting that happened in between the Aurora, Colorado theater shooting and the Newtown shooting is a shooting that happened in Clackamas Town Center here in Oregon. It happened right in between them. Two people were killed, one person was injured. He didn't pass a background check, but he didn't really attempt it, so I don't know if he would have or not. Instead. He chose to steal the firearm. He stole the firearm, therefore completely going around the whole background check and getting his firearm to do so. What stopped him from going into a mass killing was a concealed carry holder. I'll let you, we'll go into that another day. As far as background checks are concerned, as far as these mass shootings, mass killings are concerned, they're not doing anything to prevent them. Because you can't prevent people who go crazy, who haven't done anything wrong in the past, from perpetrating their first crime. You just can't. And the people who are hardened, seasoned criminals, they know they're felons. They know they're going to go into a gun store and not going to pass a background check. But that's not going to stop them. Do you have a minute here? Care to safe.